Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all safe and healthy right now. Today we're going to take a look at 8 amazing dive watches for under $350. Before we start the video, here's a story I wanna tell. When I got interested in watches back in 2017, I was a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of product out there. You get bombarded with crazy amount of brands, offers, websites, kickstarters and so on, so it's kind of easy to get lost. A lot of brands are charging way too much money for their product, and sometimes it's not really worth it in my opinion. So after doing a ton of research, I gathered a list of top 8 best value for money divers you can buy right now. And as a disclaimer, this is just my humble opinion and if you disagree or feel like I missed something, just post a comment down below. Also keep in mind that I created this video in June of 2020, so the prices, availability and the specs might change in the future. Ok, before we start we should talk about what we're looking for. As mentioned before, we want to try and keep the price at a maximum of 350 US dollars. That is equivalent to around 300 pounds and 350 euro. Keep in mind that I tried to consider the taxes that you will have to pay in the EU if you order a watch from Asia or America and the end price might be a little bit more or less than that. Also I tried to include both American and European based websites where you can purchase those watches. We are looking at mechanical or automatic watches so I didn't include any quartz watches in this video. Also at this price point it's important to have a sapphire crystal protecting the dial since it's very scratch resistant and durable and will look nice for a long time. A ceramic bezel insert is also very appreciated and it's also very hard to scratch and will last a lifetime. And we want at least 200 meters of water resistance, preferably with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. We're looking at dive watches here after all so it's the least we could ask for. That means that the watch can be taken into water without worrying too much about it. Alright, so with all those things aside, let's start with our list. First we have the Helm Vanuatu. When it comes to value dive watches, you just have to mention Helm. They have currently three models to offer and I decided on the Vanuatu, as it's the most affordable option. It comes with a price tag of $275 or €300. Euro. It is a rather big watch with its 42mm diameter and 50mm lock to lock distance and it's also not the slimmest with its 14mm height. The movement inside is of course the Seiko NH35 which will be in almost every watch on this list and you can get this watch only on their website which I will link in the description down below. So why Helm? I think they offer great quality for the money here. I own the Komodo and the build quality is just amazing for the price. As mentioned before, you can only buy these watches on their website, which can be a little bit difficult at times. Especially because their brand got quite popular over the last years and there's a big demand for it. And that means it's very difficult to get your hands on one of those models. You either have to get very lucky, or you have to wait for several months to receive yours. If you watched my Helm Komodo review, you know that I waited like 6 months for it. It's not that bad though. As the customer service is excellent and you can pick up some extra parts from the store and modify your watch with a different bezel for instance. Not to mention that this is an ISO certified dive watch, so you can actually go deep diving with this one on your wrist. Bottom line you get a very well built watch with great specs and cool design. Next on my list is the Zelos Swordfish. This list wouldn't be complete without the Zelos watch. I absolutely love this brand and I currently own two models myself and I'm thinking about adding a third one to my collection. For those of you who follow my Instagram, yeah, there is a lot of Zelos in there. Okay, so this is one of their signature and most popular models, the Swordfish. This watch brings everything you ever want. Just like the helm, it's a 42mm in diameter and 48mm lock to lock, so it wears slightly larger. I own the second version stainless steel version of the blue dial. It's just a stunning watch in my opinion, although a tad tall for my liking. You can buy Zillow's watches on their own website or if you live in the EU, there's also SeriousWatches.com, but bear in mind that Serious Watches has limited stocks. They have maybe like 5 to 10 pieces of every colorway and then they're sold out. And if you want to get the launch prices, you have to order from the Zillow's website. There's bad news though, because this model is currently all sold out. 
But don't worry, Elshan, the owner of Silos, announced a slimmed down version of the sword dish in 40mm that is coming in August 2020. It's going to be the most affordable watch they ever made, priced around only 250 US dollars. One cool thing is that they're not afraid of experimenting with exotic materials. They're stainless steel, meteorite, bronze, titanium, PVD, Damascus, and so on. And another thing that Zelos does right is the application of loom. My swordfish glows even stronger than my psycho turtle. Here are some loom shots for you guys. Okay, the next watch on my list is the Ventus North Star. It comes in at around $350 or 320 euro. It's a very well specced watch and I really like the dimensions on this one. It wears a bit smaller with its 40mm case diameter, 45mm lock to lock and 13mm height. It has a Seiko NH35 movement inside and comes in different variations as well. You can get a bronze case or a stainless steel case and combine it with different dial colors. They are all available on their own website ventuswatches.com and on series watches as well. If you feel like Ventus and Zelos are somewhat similar to each other, then you're right, because they're a sister company of Zelos. What that means is that you have guys who know what they're doing, and you will get a high quality product here for sure. I chose the North Star because it really ticks a lot of boxes for me. Small things like a date window at 6 o'clock and the crown positions at 4 o'clock, the size, the handset, the stick markers, the loom, the finishing, Everything just seems to fit together perfectly and you're really getting a nice package here for the money. Let's move on to the next watch on my list. If you're following some watch related YouTube channels, then you saw this watch being recommended everywhere for sure. It's affordable, very good looking and comes from a well known brand. Of course I'm talking about the Orient Kamasu. This watch is well priced and costs around 250 dollars or 250 euros. It will fit a variety of wrists with its 42mm diameter and only 46mm from one lock tip to another. What's special about this watch is that it's the only watch on this list with its own in-house movement inside, the F6922. You can get this watch pretty much everywhere and in all kinds of color variants. I found the teal dial on Amazon for 260 euro and the red dial for even less, 240 euro. And I'm sure you can pick this one up for even less if you look hard enough. It does have an extremely beautiful sunburst dial and a great looking handset. The loom is also very strong applied here. Bear in mind that this watch does not have a ceramic bezel insert. I still wanted to mention this watch in my list because it offers great value for money. Moving on to the next brand, Islander Watches. Founded by Mark, a very cool guy from longislandwatches.com, these watches were created to offer great value for money. Most of those watches are priced at $299. Some might be a little bit more than that, but it depends on the model you choose. It comes in a classic Seiko SKX dimensions, 43mm diameter, 46mm lock to lock and 30mm height. You can also choose a smaller 38mm model as well. All of them come in different colors, shapes and styles. If you're interested, head to longislandwatch.com, that's where you can find them. There isn't a single Seiko watch on my list, because although they are iconic, they still stick to hard legs crystals and aluminium bezels, especially in the lower price categories. That's why a lot of people start to mod their watch. They buy new parts like crystals, bezel inserts, hands, even dials and swap them out. Here it's basically already done for you, and the best thing about it that all Seiko mod parts are compatible with Islander watches, so if you want to swap out the bezel insert or something, you can still do that. One more important upgrade that gets often overlooked is the bracelet. Mark uses a solid end link bracelet with screw links, which is definitely an upgrade over most entry level Seiko bracelets. And another little detail that I really love is the loomed logo on the dial. I mean, isn't that cool? Let's move on to the next watch, the Signum Cuda. What, you never heard of it? Well, that's because it doesn't exist yet, but it will hit the market very soon in July 2020. The owner of Stratton watches, Kyle, created a new brand with one purpose. He wants to manufacture the best bang for buck watches. 
the most affordable version will be priced at $249, while the most expensive one will be $349. It all really depends on what materials you choose, but more on that later. It will also be available in two different case sizes, 40mm and 44mm in diameter. You can also choose to have it with or without the date complication. They will be available on their own website, I will leave a link in the description down below. The CUDA comes with three different dial materials. The most affordable one is the pearl dial, then comes the abalone dial and the most expensive version will feature meteorite dials, priced at $349. That's crazy, first time I see a meteorite dial in this price range. Oh, and as a cherry on top, you also get a signed and loomed crown. At the time of making this video, there are just renders published. But I'm sure that some YouTubers will do a hands-on review once they are finished with their production run. I am super excited and I cannot wait to see how they turn out. Alright, next up is a super cool looking diver. The newest Phoebus Eagle Ray PY025. This watch is available for $299 or €279. Euro. It has a diameter of 41mm with 47mm lock to lock. The thickness is around 14.5 on this one, so it's a little bit chunky. This watch is available in 4 different dial colors. Red, blue, black and green. My favorite color option is the red one. It's a color that you don't see very often on dive watches. You can purchase this on their own website and the best thing is, is that they have an European based warehouse. That means that you will not be charged with import taxes which is fantastic because there's nothing worse than waiting for over a month to get your watch because it got stuck in customs. I really like Phoebus watches because they have their own cool and unique designs. And I really regret not buying the Eagle Ray in bronze when I had the chance and now they're all sold out, so I hope they will bring it back one day. This is the stainless steel version of the Eagle Ray, this time with a supply bracelet and I really really like it. It looks like they got inspired by the Omega Speedmaster bracelet and I think it fits the watch really well. I think Phoebus is really up there when it comes to the build quality and you get a good value for money proposition here. This watch is not too flashy, just with the right amount of color on the dial. And speaking of dial, it features 15 layers of BGW9 Superluminova. That's crazy, it means that this beauty will glow in the dark for a really really long time. Last and definitely not least is a brand that I see popping up quite frequently lately. Their watches might be the most affordable on the entire list, I am talking about Saint Martin watches particularly the 62 MAS homage. It costs around $250 or 260 euro. Um, the case size is around 40 mm with 48 mm lock to lock and the thickness of around 14 mm. You have the option to modify your watch so you can go for a black dial, green dial with or without bracelet, with or without logo, fully loomed ceramic bezel insert and so on. Keep in mind that the 250 bucks is for the full spec'd out version, so obviously it gets cheaper if you decide to purchase it with a rubber strap. There are multiple places where you can get one of these. I recommend WR watches and SaintMartinWatches.com. There you can even create your own logo and let them print it for you. Saint Martin are also updating their current models on a regular basis. So this 62 MAS here is actually a version 2 with small upgrades. Those are mainly the bracelet, the case bag and the feature drilled locks on their case. What's special about this watch is that it comes with a double dome sapphire crystal and C3 Superluminova loom, which lasts very long. That's amazing value at this price point. And the blue and green dial version have a sunburst effect, while the black one is more like a matte black color. The only problem I have with this watch is that I probably couldn't even choose which one to get. And to make things even more complicated, they also offer a bronze version with a grey dial, which looks very nice as well. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. What watches did I miss? Leave a comment down below. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram. This is Michael, see you next time.